Jalen Anthony Rose Lifestyle and Net Worth Jalen Anthony Rose, born on January 30, 1973, is an American sports analyst and former professional basketball player. In college, he was a member of the University of Michigan Wolverines, Fab Five, that reached the 1992 and 1993 NCAA Men's Division I basketball championship games as both freshmen and sophomores. The Fab Five crew consisted of Jalen Rose, along with Chris Weber, Juwan Howard, Jimmy King, and Ray Jackson. Rose played in the National Basketball Association, the NBA, as a small forward for six teams, most notably alongside Reggie Miller on the Indiana Pacers team that made three consecutive Eastern Conference Finals and reached the 2000 NBA Finals. He retired in 2007 with a career average of 14.3 points, 3.8 assists and 3.5 rebounds per game. Rose was a sports analyst for ABC and ESPN. He was an analyst on NBA Countdown as well as Get Up. And he co-hosted the ESPN talk show, Jalen and Jacoby, with co-host David Jacoby until late 2022. He is also the founder of the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy, and the author of the New York Times bestseller, Got to Give the People What They Want, as well as producer of the ESPN documentary, The Fab Five. Jalen Rose has a net worth of approximately $50 million. During his NBA career, he earned around $102 million in salary alone. He is 6 feet 8 inches tall, which is equivalent to 2.03 meters tall. That been said, let's dunk. Jalen Rose Early Life Rose's biological father, Jimmy Walker, was a number one overall draft pick in the NBA who started in the backcourt alongside Jerry West in the 1972 NBA All-Star Game. Although they eventually spoke several times over the phone, Rose never met his father in person. Walker, Jalen's father died in July 2007 of lung cancer. Rose's mother, Jean, named him from a combination of his father's name, James, and his uncle's name, Leonard. As a result of Rose's prominence in the NCAA and NBA, Jalen became one of the most popular names for African-American boys born in the 1990s and early 2000s. A number of notable American athletes who began to play in the 2010s are named after Jalen Rose, including Jalen Hurts, Jalen Mayfield, Jalen Green, Jalen Suggs, and Jalen Waddell. In 2021, there were 32 players with some variation of the name Jalen on rosters in the NBA, NFL, and other North American professional sports, with an additional 80 who played men's college basketball. In 2011, Jalen paid $2.3 million for a home in Orchard Lake, Michigan. The 8,300-square-foot home sits on a little under an acre of lakefront property. Jalen Rose Personal Life In 2005, Rose earned a Bachelor of Science in Management Studies from Maryland University College. He remains an active supporter of his alma mater, the University of Michigan, and was seen rooting for their men's basketball team during the 2006 NIT Final Four with fellow ex-Wolverine, Maurice Taylor. He also was seen in Atlanta, Georgia for the Wolverines' 2013 NCAA national title game. In 2011, Rose was arrested, pleaded guilty and served time in jail for operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated in West Bloomfield Township, Michigan. In July 2018, Rose married for the first time to ESPN personality Molly Karam, in a private ceremony. In 2021, he filed for divorce from Karam. He stated that their marriage broke down after she moved to Connecticut. From a close source, Jalen Rose treated Molly Karam just like the queen she is. He treated her to expensive dinner dates as well as exotic holidays. Karim also supported Jalen throughout his career. Unfortunately, their divorce was inevitable. Jalen Rose has two daughters and a son from a previous relationship. Jalen Rose Player Profile a left-handed player, Rose was known to have a smooth and versatile offensive game, and was particularly gifted as a scorer from the perimeter or the post. Rose was used throughout his career at three different positions. He began his career as a point guard for the Denver Nuggets and became a shooting guard and at the same time a small forward for the Indiana Pacers. He then returned to the point guard position briefly with the Toronto Raptors. However, during his career he was most effective as a small forward or swingman. Rose was also a good passer, especially for his height, and Indiana often employed him as a point forward. Not well known for his defense, Rose's best moment defensively came during the 1997-1998 season, when he emerged as a defensive stopper on Chicago Bulls' Michael Jordan in the Eastern Conference Finals, though the Bulls pulled out the series in seven games. 
Rose has sometimes been regarded as a team leader, particularly under head coach Larry Bird, though he reportedly was a disruptive force in the Pacers' locker room during his feud with the head coach, at that time being Isaiah Thomas. While in Toronto, Jalen Rose also frequently clashed with Raptors head coach, Sam Mitchell, who benched a struggling Jalen early in the 2005-2006 season in favor of rookie Joey Graham. In the following months, Rose increased his player efficiency rating more than 3 points, to 13.7, while averaging 12.1 points, 2.5 assists, and 2.8 rebounds per game. However, he only shot 40.4% from the field and 27% from three-point range, including a 51.4 true shooting percentage, through 46 games. In 2003, Jalen was honored with the Professional Basketball Writers Association Magic Johnson Award. He was inducted into the Detroit High School Hall of Fame in 2013 and Michigan Basketball Hall of Fame in 2017. In 2019, Rose was inducted into the American Basketball Hall of Fame in his hometown of Detroit. Jalen Rose post NBA career and broadcasting. Rose worked as a sideline reporter for the 2006 NBA playoffs for TNT. Since his retirement in 2007, Rose has worked at ABC ESPN, first as an analyst on SportsCenter, and in 2012, he became one of the hosts for NBA Countdown. He has also worked on ESPN's Grantland. He is the owner of Three Tier Entertainment, an independent Los Angeles-based management and production company. Created in 2007, Three Tier Entertainment develops television and film projects and also manages talents including directors, actors, and screenplay writers. In 2011, he produced the ESPN documentary, The Fab Five. The Fab Five earned a 2.1 rating to become ESPN's highest-rated documentary and this is according to the Nielsen Company, despite sparking controversy that led to a series of media exchanges between members of the press, Michigan Wolverines men's basketball players, and Duke Blue Devils men's basketball players. In 2015, Rose released, Got to Give the People What They Want, a book about his personal life story. It is a New York Times bestseller and made to the list of Michigan notable books from 2016. He co-hosted Jalen and Jacoby, a national U.S. sports radio show on ESPN Radio, with David Jacoby, until late 2022. Starting in April 2018, Rose was a guest analyst of Get Up, a three-hour morning sports talk show on ESPN. He also has a multi-platform partnership with the New York Post where he hosts a podcast and weekly column under the name, Renaissance Man. Rose was laid off by ESPN on June 30, 2023 in a round of cost cuts of public-facing commentators. Jalen Rose Philanthropic Work In 2000, Rose established the Jalen Rose Foundation Charitable Fund to create life-changing opportunities for underserved youth through the development of unique programs and the distribution of grants to qualified nonprofit organizations. Grants focus on education and sports and are distributed in Jalen's hometown of Detroit and in other communities in need. He as well established the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy, JRLA, in 2011. The Academy is an open enrollment, tuition-free, public charter high school on the northwest side of Detroit. The Academy serves over 400 9th through 12th grade students. Its inaugural class of June 2015 saw 100% of the Academy's graduates gaining college, trade school, or even military acceptance. The mission is to provide a leadership-focused experience within a high-performing high school that engages and inspires Detroit-area youth to achieve at the rigorous level necessary to graduate with a college degree and thrive in life. Rose serves as the president of the board of directors. The Detroit News recognized Jalen Rose with the Michiganian of the Year Award in recognition of his excellence, courage and philanthropy to uplift the metropolitan area and Michigan as a whole. In 2016, he was awarded the 11th Annual National Civil Rights Museum Sports Legacy Award for his contributions to civil and human rights and for laying the foundation for future leaders through his career in sports in the spirit of Dr. King. Rose won the award for establishing the Jalen Rose Foundation, which creates opportunities for underprivileged youth. In addition, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame awarded Rose the 2016 Manny Jackson Basketball's Human Spirit Award. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.